my story is that uh, I was a grad graduate student at MIT uh, doing something completely unrelated to this. I had gone to the Peace Corps, uh, the Peace Corps after undergrad. It's a wonderful experience. I was in West Africa. Uh, I was stunned. I did mechanical engineering as an undergrad. I got to the Peace Corps and found that I didn't know how to do anything useful. You know, there, there were all of these unbelievable problems and I didn't know where to start. Uh, I started building school latrines because it was uh, an easy to define problem. But still, you know, the, the first set of latrines I built, I got the plans from the public works department of the school site to figure out where to put the latrine and there were, there were latrines in the school plans. And so I talked to the, the public works guys and said, well, what happened to that? Oh, huh, there's a funny story there. Uh, you know, that the money for that went to buy the head mason a TV and the mayor a mo motorcycle. And it's like, whoa, wait a minute, you know, wh how, how's that? It's like, well, we knew when he would show up and finish the job. So it's like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be here. Like, maybe the best thing that I could do is, like, leave today uh, and stop this whole process. So I decided to get into environmental science thinking that, you know, I can dig a latrine at a time for the next 100 years and help, you know, how many people to order dozens, hundreds. Uh, or I could look at the environment and it affects the whole planet. Grad school, in my experience, you know that game Pachinko where you shoot the little marble up and it hits, hits the little pegs? Like my goal was down at the bottom and I'm, I'm kind of getting shoved way off to the side. So about three years into it, I was in a motorboat off the coast in New Jersey with a team of Navy SEALs launching a autonomous underwater vehicle that looked a lot like a torpedo over the side. And it's like, well, how did I get here? You know, how, how did this happen? Uh, so I started looking for ways to connect more of what I thought was important with my education. We started Design That Matters as a seminar run by students for students where we would try to solve big problems. I don't know, you know, I was very frustrated in my education where why aren't we solving, you know, the big issues? Uh, our first class had 12 students. Out of that, we got five patents and something like three startup companies. It's like, okay, well, that was fun. Let's do that again. It Swallowed my academic career, so I actually quit my PhD five years into it, which was uh, a little painful. Uh, and we started the company. And I mean, I'd love to say that we had a very clear vision, and uh, when we got started, and and it all kind of worked out. Uh, I have actually saved our business plan from that first year because it is such a baroque and goofy masterpiece of uh, wishful thinking. In the sense that you know, year three we open our design studio in the Alps. Uh, I don't know why. It's I wanted to do that. Um, so that's, again, when I go back to this idea of a product, in the beginning, starting a company is like launching a ship, and we put everything we ever wanted to do into that little boat, and it started sinking immediately. Uh, because people are like, what? why am I gonna pay for you to go to the Alps? Uh, so really, the process for us has been one of learning, you know, again, what we don't do, not so much what we do. And there's really two questions that we had to answer. What is our business? What do we do? And who is our customer? Who benefits and who pays for this? So there's been a real learning process for us in figuring out how to make this all work. Uh, I've read a statistic that said 80% of companies fail in the first five years, uh, and then another 80% fail in the second five years. And now that we're past that first five years, uh, what I'd like to say is that I think that of those 80% of companies that, that tank, they fail for the wrong reasons. Uh, founders don't get along. or uh, you don't figure out where to get money. You know, it's, it's not so much about the model or the service that you're offering, the quality or the, the relevance of the service, but just basic things about how to run a business. If you blow it in the second five years, probably for the right reasons. You know, you, you are not connecting with the needs of, of the community. Right?